Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create this gradient stroke animation in Adobe After Effects. You can use this to reveal your logo or create any motion graphic from this in a simple step. So support me on this one, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and then turn on the notification, come back, let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, we're going to control new to create a new composition. I'm going to leave this to 1920 by 1080. Of course, you feel free to choose your own setting and also name your composition. I'm going to trim the entire duration to about six seconds and then you hit OK. We're going to create the entire uh, gradient stroke animation using a mask instead of the regular shape layer. So right click on your timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. Feel free to also give this a name and then hit OK. The color here doesn't really matter. So pick up the pen tool and draw a random mask like this. Go to your effect and preset and search for tick stroke effect, then apply it to the mask layer and you're going to have something like this. By the way, if you do not have this uh, effect on your effect and preset, you can follow a link in the description to download it. It's a free plugin. So let's switch this panel to FS and control. Then we're going to start making some changes to these parameters right here. The start width, I'm going to make it 5.8 and the end width, I'm going to make it 50. Feel free to set your color at this point, but I'm going to go with the default color right here. Expand the trim part option. Then I'll move my time indicator to about the end of the composition timeline right here at five seconds. Then I'll set a keyframe for the end and also set a keyframe for the start then i'll hit you to reveal the keyframes then i'll come back to zero and make the end offset zero then i'll move this start offset keyframe back to this point close to zero then i'll move my time indicator forward in time and make the end offset about 90%. About 97 is okay. So if you just preview this now, this is what you're gonna have. Excellent. This is not looking exactly what we want to do, but we're going to make some tweak to it so that it will look exactly what we want to have. So the next thing you're going to do now is to go to, to the influence and change it to the width and colors. This way, the color will start to follow the stroke and also the end. As you can see right here, we now have our setting following the stroke all along. So another thing we're going to do, I want the light area here. I want the light area here, the yellow part to be on the tip. So what we're going to do instead of changing this gradient color right here, we just click shift colors and it is going to shift the color up there. So, but I'm going to move this yellow right here to this point and move the red to the center. That way I will have the hot area starting from the top and then the red area then gradually diminish to the cooling point. That is what I want to simulate. If you look at this carefully, you will see that it will just start and then come in to stop right here. So we're going to make it loop continuously as if it is continuously going around the composition. So what we're going to do first, we can adjust this keyframe to determine the length of the stroke. If you select the start keyframe right here, 
and shift it forward, you will see that that increases the length of the stroke. So this will depend on what you want. So I'm just going to increase it a little bit. I think like this is okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to select the layer right here. I'm going to make this starting point of the composition preview and also the end point of composition preview. That way we have everything looping around continuously. So I will select my pen tool to do that. I will select this point and move it outside the composition. And here is the beginning. So I will also select this point and move it out. Nothing is written on stone right here. Feel free to experiment. So if you preview now, I think we're going to have a better loop. Beautiful. You see that it is continuously looping seamlessly. Select the mask layer right here. Let's hide the mask visibility by toggling this mask visibility off. Then Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate this layer. So we're going to adjust the colors right here to black and white. Change the layer mode to add. On the top layer right here, we're going to add the extract effect. We're going to increase the black point until we have something like this. Then we're going to add a fill color as well. You just have to return the layer mode to normal. That is not allowing me to see what exactly the color is. So I'm going to change this color to something lemon. Lemon yellow right here. Now I can see exactly what it is. So I'll expand the extract effect right here and push the black further until I have it just right there at the tip. Beautiful. So I'm going to add a glow effect to this layer so make sure you collapse all other effects so that you can see the glow parameters so what we're going to do first is to duplicate the glow then you bring the threshold to about zero and increase the glow radius beautiful so I'm going to duplicate this one more time. This will depend on what you want to have. I'll make more adjustments and increase the glow intensity. I'll adjust the second duplicate of the glow as well. Feel free to experiment to whatever work for you. So I'm going to remove the threshold for the first glow effect. I'm also going to turn that down to zero. And if you preview now, this is what you have. Beautiful. But I'm going to make this layer color fill to white. I will change the fill right here to white. That is going to give me more glow effect. So select the bottom layer, right click on it, go to layer style and add an inner shadow. So at this point, we have to pull in to see exactly what we are doing. Let's expand the inner shadow option right here on the timeline. So we're going to change the mode to screen. 
and we're going to change the color to white. We are beginning to see the effects on the stroke. So we're going to adjust the distance. We're going to make the distance 8. And uh, I'm going to increase the size to 6. Then I will increase the noise to 5. This will give it a very smooth highlight right here. So let's fit this to composition. If you preview now, this is what you have. A smooth looping gradient stroke effect in Adobe After Effects using a mask. So, but I'm gonna take this a little bit forward. I'm gonna right click on the timeline, go to new and add a new adjustment layer. On the adjustment layer, I'm gonna add CC force motion blur. I'll increase the samples to 10. At this point, this will be very heavy on your PC. So the more the numbers right here, the more it is gonna be heavy. If you look at it, the effect already is giving this tip a very smooth trail. So this is gonna be heavy on your PC. So I'm gonna drop this resolution to third, then preview. This is what you have, a smooth gradient stroke effect. So that is how you can create a gradient stroke effect in Adobe After Effects. Feel free to play around with this plugin, it is free. The link is in the description, so go and download it and start using it. If you learn something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks. Subscribe to my membership. Whatever way you want to support me with, even if you share the video, that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.